they're the holy bricks. So <laughs> the holy like, bricks. yeah, the bricks with you know the three holes throughout the middle of them. So we don't really excel at these types of things. So. Jeans and Crocs, babe. Always. I think we figured out what we want to do. Definitely going to be stepping out of our comfort zone just a tiny little bit. A lot. I think so too. So we'll probably use this as the back. We're like, huh, I wonder if we can even lift it on the rock. Sure as heck could not lift it on top of the rock. It is too heavy. My my concern is getting it on the ground and not being able to get my fingers out from under it. With the weather changing and colder temps moving in, we've been focusing our attention on the inside of the container house. And now that the floors are completed, decisions need to be made regarding our wood stove surround. And in last week's video, we asked y'all's opinion on what you think we should do. But like most things around here, we of course changed our mind and decided to go with something completely different. And I'm sure you're wondering how we got to this point, so let's rewind a bit. Well, we just went to a brick manufacturer and uh, still couldn't find what we needed. So I guess we're going to go try somewhere else. There were a couple colors that we liked, but the one thing about was, their bricks was... Yeah, they're the holy bricks. So the holy like, bricks. Yeah, the bricks with, you know, the three holes throughout the middle of them. So we couldn't figure out a way to be able to do the perimeter without there being holes sticking out. So yeah. it would work great for the wall, not really for the ground. So... We're gonna have to find something solid, more like a paver, but without the lines on the side. So. He did give us a couple options though, so I think we're gonna tag over to a different store. Yeah. Okay, see you Luckily, it's just right on the other side of the highway. Outdoor Emporium. It looks like there's tons of options here, so hopefully we'll be able to find something. I really like this one, and I really like this one, but I just think that this is too light, yeah. But it does say special order only, so let's see what's actually in stock. why this is so hard for us but we are having such a hard time figuring out what we want yes, what would look right this has probably been the hardest design which Cody and I are not big designers in general so we don't really excel at these types of things so we're still looking I don't mind something like this we would just have to get the pattern right not a big fan of the color but they do have a couple of different options this is a little darker than we intended on going and it would definitely probably change up how I designed the rest of the house and like the color schemes, but I don't hate it. I think it would look good because it's dark but light at the same time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's supposed I mean, to be best a darker of both brick, but it's like whitewashed a little bit. Jeans and Crocs, babe. Always. Jeans and Crocs. You know it's winter time when you got the jeans on. We cannot decide what we want. We keep going back and forth between the cobblestone, which is that last design that I showed you, or doing river rock. So we're gonna grab a bite to eat, 
do a little bit of research, look at some pictures on Pinterest, and just kind of figure out what we want to do, and then head back, hopefully with a decision. I think we figured out what we want to do. We're definitely going to be stepping out of our comfort zone just a tiny little bit. A lot. Um, kind of a lot. I think it's going to be cool. We'll see. But we will show you when we get home. First, we need to go load it up. So let's go do that. And we're not doing anything that we have discussed before. This is something new that I've only seen like three pictures on. So hopefully I can find a little bit more research. I don't know why I can't. Mom, I'm sure you're cringing at the fact that I use this new Pampered Chef dish scrubber on the rock. Oh, uh, it's Pampered Chef. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but it was the only thing that we had and it worked really, really well. So I'm sorry, but just know we got some very good use out of it and we'll continue to get good use out of it. So we decided to go with this nice big piece of flagstone. We stepped way out of our comfort zone. Um, we planned on doing brick and then we talked about doing river rock and we spent basically all day looking at options and it's not, oh, sorry, I didn't going, even through, you off. Fine, going <laughs> through all the different types of rocks they had and this is what we ended up deciding with. So basically we're going to finish the floor exactly the way it is and just set this rock on top and that's it. <laughs> I've had some bricks underneath the fireplace for the last week or two probably just to kind of see well, really, I was hoping that they would kind of help push off some heat from the fireplace and, you know, just kind of help warm up the space. And they pretty much stayed cool the entire time, yeah. even with the roaring fire going. And then we also looked up all of the safety specs on our specific wood stove and yeah. what we could and could not do. And while there isn't a ton of information on this, we are not very concerned because of the safety regulations on our wood stove. It puts yeah. out a lot of heat up on the top. And, and from the front where the glass is, but it's got heat shields on the bottom and on the back. So nothing else really gets hot. And I mean, as you know, we've used it for probably about a year with just a brick under each foot. So the wood floor underneath was exposed and that never even got warm. So we're really not worried about the heat making this crack or anything like that, or, you know, the, the wood floor getting too hot or anything like that. Or the rock getting too hot. Yeah, or... because most of the heat is going out and up. 
obviously do your own research and your own safety precautions on your wood stove if you choose to do something like this but from what we've looked up we're not very concerned about it and we're obviously going to be home anytime that we run a fire so we'll be able to keep our eye on it and make changes as necessary but i'm very very excited this is stepping out of our comfort zone like he said but i think it's going to be good it's gonna be cool it's different yeah. for sure it'll make it more of a focal piece whenever you walk in you know we've had a couple questions in the past regarding if our tv gets hot and we've monitored that as well it'll get a little bit warm on the plastic on the bottom but never anything concerning or anything like that so yeah we're going to make a couple modifications to it and then finish up the wood floors inside get it installed and hopefully it's going to look good fingers crossed we also need to decide what we want to do on the back wall now i have a couple options so we'll take a look at those a little bit later as well So this is actually really, really level to start out with. There's just one tiny little high spot right here, and this is going to be the bottom side. So I'm just going to use my chisel and knock off this high spot, and then we'll flip it back over, scrub her down a little bit more, and then start drying her off. picking it out one of my main concerns was that it chipped a little bit as we were going through the different pieces of flagstone I noticed a lot of chipping but I think that's just kind of like the surface area of the rock versus that was super super hard to chip away so I think we yeah, should it was be pretty good hard. I think we should be good once we get all like the surface pieces yeah. right away. it can be a little flaky but at the same time you know it's a rock it's not supposed to look perfect yeah it's definitely that's the whole point is it's I definitely want abstract very, and not yeah, perfect abstract, you know yeah. I kind of went through along with my hand to see if there were any super sharp pieces that we need to take off but for the most part I think it's okay and then we're going to leave it a little bit recessed from the wall so we don't have to worry about flattening the back of it is that the right word recessed did I use that in the right context sure <laughs> I think I like the flatness of this side better for the stove to sit on, but I think you can see like the detail on the side when it's on the other side because of like the angle of the rock, like it's more exposed when it's flipped over the other way. So I'll leave it up to you. I'm not sure. So we'll probably use this as the back and then this will be the front. That's what I'm thinking. Cool. And if you're wondering how much this big, beautiful rock cost, it was $26. So definitely one of our cheaper projects, which I am not complaining about. All right, let's dry her off and get her inside.
trays at all? No, not really. I mean, it left a mark, but it wiped off. Huh. Nice. Yeah, um, no, that's, that's the grain. The grain. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Fireplace is moved, everything is vacuumed, so let's lay the rest of this floor. So we have just enough gap right here that it's too big to be able to baseboard over it. We're going to end up having to cut some strips to go along the edge right here as well as finish out right in front of the sliding glass door. But where it's at, the rock isn't going to be on the ground touching it at all. So we're going to go ahead and put the rock down and try and get the stove moved over. I said in the last video, we're not really too concerned with having weight on the floating floor. Uh, from what I've read, it's able to kind of work around that and expand and contract in other places. But if we do end up having any issues, we still have two boxes of floor left over and we can always, from what I read, it said if you do have any issues, you can basically just move the heavy weight, reposition the floor and put the weight back, so. Obviously do what you want in your own household and what you're comfortable with. We're just not too concerned with it and we really wanted the floors done. But regardless, I think we're going to go ahead and add a foam pad down or some sort of barrier between the rock and the actual floors. Not sure if we'll be able to find anything, but we're going to head up to the Rule King and see what we can find. It is the next day. We went to Rural King. They didn't have anything, so we ended up having to go to Walmart. When we got home, we were like, huh, I wonder if we can even lift it on the rock. So we gave it an attempt and I sure as heck could not lift it on top of the rock it is too heavy the stove is just way too heavy so our friend dylan is about to come out and he's going to help us get it on the rock so we're going to prep the area that way when he gets here we can just put it on and be done with it
concern is getting it on the ground and not being able to get my fingers out from under it. I wanna make it count, honey, come on now and tell me